Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Let's continue up the right side of the Fork Tower, where you should only be able to use physical attacks, and your magic should be sealed, but, or magic should invoke a counterattack, or something like that, but I, I was going to demonstrate it to you, but then I tried it, and nothing happened. It was like, well, what the hell? I, th I thought they were, like, sealing your abilities, so... I, I don't know what's going on, viewers. You got me there, but... Just stick to physical attacks. Oh, you can also use Slash. Nice thing about Slash is that it bypasses dead status immunity. Like these guys. They have dead status immunity. Not anymore! I wonder if that's a bug or not. Like, the game... Like, either, I mean, it works in the advanced version, so maybe it's not a bug, but, you know, are some abilities supposed to bypass status immunities? I don't know. Well, before I go up these stairs, I want to rearrange my party and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's just take a quick look at uh, our setup here. Uh, Kara and Lena are fine the way they are, I'm not worried about them, but anyway, we got X Fight on Mystic Knight for Barts there, and equipped him with the chicken knife. Oh, you want on my lap, kitty? Come here, Strike. We can make room for you. Come on. Yes, you like being petted. You like the chicken knife, don't you? I already fed you chicken food. I'm busy. Okay, get off. Get off. Get off! Okay. Anyway, uh, where was I? Chicken knife. Oh, yeah. Flame shield. Or any shield, really. Ice shield, whatever. I, just something. Uh, Genji equipment, and I like the Mirage Vest on him for this fight because it's a relatively short one, and uh, instead of the Crystal Mail. If I was using the Mystic Knight regularly, then I would like the Crystal Mail probably better, but just for now, we'll leave it like this. Ferris, I've made into a ninja with build-up, and best equipment we have available. I'm mostly interested in the throw ability because I'm going to be using those uh, pinwheels that I picked up earlier, so there we are. So let's get the ultimate magic that they have available here. Now how are we going to grab both at the same time? Should I have gotten my brother to help me out with this one? No, no, we don't need help. So, the, both scenes are happening at the same time. We're just going to do them one at a time, though obviously, since we can't fight two battles at once. Although I did see one guy play Mega Man X and Mega Man X2 at the same time once. That was pretty spiffy. Oh, this must be the brother of that guy that we found at the pyramid there. See, this is where they first came from, the brothers. Not Final Fantasy VIII. Well, there you are. But anyway, yeah, best thing to do, uh, throw pinwheels and use X-Fight with the chicken knife. X-Fight with the chicken knife is pretty good when you've only got one enemy to fight, but when you've got a whole bunch of them, not so useful. Uh-oh going to use holy on us, and I've got the bone mail equipped. Oh, fortunately, he doesn't have enough MP. Mistake by the programmers? No. No, it's, it's the physical tower, and that's why, you know, that's just add, to add to the surrealism of it. All right. We got holy! Yay! Very good spell in the game, I might add. Now, you could take some time to actually set up Lena and Kara, but if you take too much time, then uh, the tower will explode, and you'll have to start all over. Now, this is omniscient, uh, susceptible to air elemental attacks, or, or weak to it, I mean. So we want to put that to use. First things first, this guy has some really powerful magic, so we want to use some giant drinks there. Elixir, Dragon Fang, that's the way to go. You gotta get our HP up for this one since I'm relatively low on levels. Okay, well that's okay. The weak spells were, were fine. If you use a physical attack on Omniscient, it'll cast Reset uh, as a counterattack. So, watch out for that. Potion, Dragon Fang. Let's use that. Get some more power out of Soldra there. And that's really all you need to do for this guy. Just keep on hitting him with Sildra. I suppose I could use Arrow 3, but why? Potion, antidotes. Need to neutralize that poison. Oh, I, I didn't get any healing out of it. Huh. Let's check out Arrow 3 just for kicks. 
Yeah, Seldra's still a little better. That's okay. Ah, okay, we're doing fine there. I guess I don't need... Well, I suppose I could have cast Haste too, but whatever. Ow! Okay, now I can use some help. We need an X potion. Wait, they don't have X potions in this game. Crap. Oh, thank goodness he didn't do that on, Ke on Lena there. Yeah, Flare's a counterattack, and we need a lot of <laughs> HP to survive that. Oh, there we go. Yay, we got Flare! I like Flare. What's going on? Got that blue, black, blue background. It's pretty ominous. And we fall eight stories down, and we die. Oh, no, we just start out right here. Oh, you released a catapult. So let's check out Sid there. Game? Uh, don't you hate it when you're like one step away from the area and you get into a random battle? And then like the enemy decides to cast Sacrifice on you when you're like right before the final save point like in Dragon Warrior 2? Uh, I make a lot of references to that game, don't I? Eh. Considering that it doesn't really have much of a storyline. Hey, Sid! Surprise! Oh. Not here. Huh. Maybe he's in the other room. No. Hmm. Where could he have gone? Well, I do need to rest up since I changed up my job classes again. Uh, I made everyone back into their old job classes. Uh, Lena. I made back into I made into a white mage, actually, with dimension magic. Kara, I've equipped with Sing as her secondary ability. And Ferris, I don't have equipped with a curse ring anymore. I equipped her with a guard ring, for reasons that will be explained shortly. Hey, hey Sid, we found you. That looks like fun. Whee! Can I try? Sid, this is Final Fantasy V. Any time is a good time to act silly. Oh, hey, now we can go underwater. All right. Apparently our old sub didn't make it in the merger. But that's okay. We can make our airship into a sub now. <laughs> oh, that always gives me a kick. The music speeding up and everything. <laughs> Hey, Kara, what's up? Admit. What's going on? How's it going? Yeah. Not like my grandpa. Oh, I'm sorry, Kara. Yeah, my grandpa was the one who caused it. If it makes you feel better, he died. For his sin. Hey, hey, all right. I don't know how this airship submarine's going to work, besides that. I mean, how, how would you keep, like, water from getting in the decks and everything like that? And what about the propellers? They just fold down? Why can't you wield swords? I can wield a sword. I actually have a sword. In real life, that is. Oh, it's blunt. Don't worry, viewers. But I bet I could whack up so someone upside the head with it. And now that we have a submarine, we can continue looking for tablets and saving the world. But before we do that, we have another side quest that we can do underwater. So let's go do that first. Now we have the catapult available, so we got a good airship base going. Place to rest up and save, so let's shove off! Shouldn't we be going below deck to, uh, you know, go underwater? Well, yeah, you don't want to go in there. Uh, if you go in there, you get sucked into the final area of the game in the void, so. Let's head right about here. This looks like a good spot to land, or what do you call it when you land on water? Is there, like, a nautical term for that? Not landing on land, landing on water. But anyway, here's a, um, uh, well, a secret area. The sunken Warris Tower. 
but we start at the top and we can only hold our breath for seven minutes? I don't think so, Barts. And here are some monsters that I guess sunk along with the tower or something like that. They're copies of old, weak monsters, uh, not necessarily found in the tower here, so... Uh, but yeah, I mean, just use Slash, it'll take care of just about anything in here. Hooray! And they're all just shadows of their old self, so I don't know which version they are. So what awaits us at the bottom of this tower? Can we hold our breath long enough? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.